we're going to start from Urasai. Okay. So if you remember, this Tuesday, we walk from Omote. Okay. So it's a uh, left side of opponent's net. So today we're going to go to the Ura, the right side of our opponent's uh, shine. Okay. So first one, uh, we're going to work on Haraigo. Okay. So if you remember last Tuesday, I mentioned that it's important to um, pay attention when you are going to move your Kensaki and how you are going to do it. Okay. So you need to uh, think about it. Then carefully. Don't just open up your Kamae. Like, you know, if you saw, you are just inviting your opponent's strength. Then, so same thing here, when you go to Ura. Right? Then from here, when you go to the Ura side, then you have to be careful when you're going to start and how you're going to start. So normally, in case of the Omote, basically you need to bring your Kensaki to a lower right corner. Then, so if you're going to do the same way, when you go to Ura, you need to bring your um, Kensaki to lower left corner. Then probably around here, right? Doesn't have to be down here. Then just here, just enough to then do the Harai motion. Okay? Now, one more thing to think about. So do you just need to just use your right hand and move the Kensaki? Then, how about you need to go to the other side of the opponent's shine, okay? So why not not only just move the Kensaki only, which is okay, okay? You can do that, absolutely no problem. Then that's what the basic uh, technique is explained. But how about if you also move the left hand a little bit to the right. Then you see this little bit to the right, little bit, little bit. Okay, so in this way, you can move your Kensaki even quicker to that position. Does that, does that make sense to you? Then instead of just moving the Kensaki only, if you move just a little bit, left hand like this too, like right? then here. Then instead of just Kensaki, but left hand goes. So you can make it a little bit quicker, right? Now, it's up to you. You know, you, you're gonna try, and if it works, you know, well for you, you can try that. Or if you don't just, you know, uh, it doesn't work for you, you can just move the Kensaki using the right hand only. That's absolutely no problem, right? So I'm gonna just demonstrate, right? So this is in case you are moving only uh, the Kensaki using the right hand only. Then, so from Isobito, then, so from here, and we're gonna strike Kote. Okay, so one more time. From here, then, this is only Kensaki, right? So if I move the right, left hand also, okay, so from here, then if I go a little bit slower, here, this, then of course, comes back to the pam, pam, then comes back to the kote. Then, so that's kind of application. Okay, if you can do this well, you know, you should be able to move the Kensaki even quicker. And the power could be actually more because you are now using both hands. Okay, so let's try, right? I like okay. So, hey. And yes. then in my practice, I keep thinking, what if the opponent is resisting even, I can't tell if he's holding on to the Shinai and, and, and holding it tight or whatever. So by moving your right hand, you get more power, I think. To, to, not, to knock it out of the way. Then if you just went- yeah, So when uh, you see the person who is trying to resist, nobody from this position in there. Right. So you try to push it to your left, opponent is gonna push back. Because that this is how you normally start, right? Right. Yeah. So actually if the opponent push back, you can use that one as your advantage because you are going to the other side anyway. 
Okay. Hi. Right. Yeah. So you may not uh, need to even do a harai motion. Yeah, like uh, uh, Rami uh, asked last time. Mm -hmm. yeah, just use that uh, reaction from the opponent when you push and just go over the top and the quotation will be over for you. Okay. okay. All right.